ओम शांति 25 फरवरी 2023 इंग्लिश मुरली इसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन ओनली बाय फॉलोइंग द एलिवेटेड डायरेक्शंस ऑफ श्री श्री द मोस्ट एलिवेटेड वन विल यू बिकम श्री नारायण फ्रॉम ऑर्डिनरी ह्यूमंस देयर इज विक्ट्री थ्रू फेथ क्वेश्चन व्हाट स्पेशलिटी शुड द डायरेक्ट क्रिएशन ऑफ गॉड डेफिनेटली हैव answer that of remaining constantly cheerful the jewels of knowledge should constantly emerge from the mouths of god's creation their behavior has to be very royal their behavior should not be such that it dishonors the father's name to cry fight and call and to eat impure food are not the qualities of god's children if those who have called themselves the children of god cry or do anything wrong they lose the father's honor this is why you children have to be very very cautious constantly have godly intoxication and remain cheerful om shanti the father has to see the faces of the children there is no sage or holy man here it is bab dada and the children here this is called the family of god god means the supreme father his child is brahma and then there are you brahma kumars and kumaris he is the father of the world in fact everyone in the world has three fathers first is the incorporeal father second is prajapita brahma and the third one is a physical father however no one knows this they make images etc but they don't know when he came there is the image of shiva and also the images of brahma vishnu and shankar but no one knows what parts they play or why their names are remembered although they have studied a great deal and hundreds of thousands of people go to listen to their lectures it is as though they know nothing in front of you children everyone has a completely degraded intellect baba comes and cleans your intellects you know everything the father is the highest on high he is now creating a new creation a new creation is needed for the new world gandhi ji too used to say that there has to be a new world and a new kingdom only in bharat is there the one kingdom of the golden age there is the kingdom of just the sun dynasty lakshmi and narayan then there is the moon dynasty kingdom and so the sun dynasty disappears it is then called the moon dynasty kingdom yes they do know that lakshmi and narayan existed previously but it would still be called the kingdom of rama and sita therefore brahma is not the creator only the one father is the creator shri baba the creator comes and tells you how he creates the new creation i create you brahmins through brahma therefore you surely have to receive the inheritance from the father if people were to understand even this tiny matter they would be very fortunate for 21 births they would never experience sorrow or even become widowed none of them has this total intoxication in their intellect it is very easy today's song having awakened my fortune i have come om shanti you have come to this patshala who's patshala the patshala of shrimat bhagavat they have then named it the gita shrimat is that of the most elevated supreme soul he is giving his children elevated directions previously you were following the devilish directions of ravan you are now receiving directions from god the father i am not just your father i am your father your teacher and also your satguru those who belong to me say shri baba i have become yours through the mouth of brahma they promise i belong to you 
I will remain yours. Baba too says, You are mine. Now follow my directions. By following Srimat, you will become elevated like Lakshmi and Narayan. This is a guarantee. You were made Narayan from an ordinary man and Lakshmi from an ordinary woman in the previous cycle too. No human being can say this. No one would have the knowledge to say this. Only the father says, My children, I teach you Raj Yoga and make you into the masters of heaven once again. The golden age is the world of Allah. God is called Allah. At this time, all are dangling upside down. The eagle comes and attacks you. Here Maya also attacks you. You continue to become unhappy. The father now says, I am now taking you away from this sorrow, from this ocean of poison to an ocean of milk. There is no ocean of milk in reality. They say that Vishnu is lying in an ocean of milk in the subtle region. Those are simply words of praise. Now I, the ocean of knowledge, am making you children into the masters of heaven. By sitting on the pyre of lust, you have been burned and become ugly. I come and rain knowledge on you and you become beautiful. It is mentioned in a scripture that the children of King Sagra were burned. They have made up many stories. The father now says, remove all of those things from your intellects. Now listen to me. Those whose intellects have doubt are led to destruction. Now have faith in me, because an intellect with faith will be victorious. You will become the beads of the rosary of victory. The significance of the rosary has also been explained to you. The rosary of victory is made of those who do good service. The beads that do the best service are placed ahead in the rosary of Rudra. They will then be ahead in the rosary of Vishnu. It is number wise. First there are the 108 and then the rosary of 16,000 is added. It isn't that in the golden and silver ages there will just be 108 princes and princesses. As expansion takes place, the rosary becomes bigger. When the number of subjects grows, the number of princes and princesses would also surely grow. The father says, if you don't understand anything, then ask, O oh my beloved children, by knowing me, you will know the world tree. This tree never becomes old. You know when the path of devotion begins. This is the Kalpa tree. Kam Dhenu is sitting beneath it. She must definitely have a father too. You are also now sitting beneath the tree and your new tree is to begin. Hundreds of thousands of subjects have been created and they will continue to be created. However, to become a king is a little difficult. In this too, it is the ordinary and poor ones who go ahead. Baba says, I am the Lord of the poor. Donations are given to the poor. I come and bless those with stone intellects, hunchbacks and the sinful souls. You sit and give knowledge to even sannyasis. No one can become a deity without becoming a Brahmin. Those who were in the deity clan have come into the Brahmin clan because only then can they go into the deity clan. Everyone sings, you are the mother and the father, but you have this practical relationship. This is the new creation of Brahmins. The highest top knot is that of Brahmins. There is God, the highest on high, and then the godly community. Therefore, you should have so much intoxication of being the grandchildren of God and the children of Prajapita. God's children should constantly remain cheerful. They must never cry. Here, many who call themselves Brahma Kumars and Kumaris cry, especially the Kumaris. 
men don't cry those who cry defame the father's name they appear to be slaves of maya they don't appear to be those who belong to shri baba internally baba understands everything but externally he doesn't show anything otherwise they would fall even more baba says each of you must look after yourself those who defame the satguru can never claim a high status they have to understand that they would never claim the throne of the kingdom you must remain constantly cheerful only when you remain cheerful here will you remain cheerful for 21 births it is not a big thing to give a lecture that is very easy you have to become like krishna so remain constantly cheerful now and let jewels of knowledge constantly emerge from your mouths i this soul have received wealth from the supreme father the supreme soul whatever i this soul have imbibed i continue to donate that through my mouth you need a stage just like that of baba who has taken a body on loan and continues to donate although superficially baba gives love to someone he sees when someone's behavior is such that he will dishonor his name and so he knows in his heart that that one will not be able to claim a status baba also receives complaints this one is a child of god so why is he or she crying god's honor would be lost here would it not some cry and fight and eat in pure food if date is cried that would be something else but here you are the direct children of god so what would be your destination you must and perform such wrong actions that you lose the father's honor you need to be cautious in every respect god is teaching you at this time there are as many opinions as there are human beings no two people's opinions are the same the father explains you are sitting here to make your fortune the highest on high no one apart from god can elevate your fortune there are lakshmi and narayan at the beginning of the golden age to world only god creates that how did he give that kingdom to lakshmi and narayan no one knows how the king queen and subjects were created baba explains i come at the confluence age of the cycle and establish the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan baba says i am giving you the tilak of the kingdom if i the creator of heaven didn't give you the tilak of the kingdom then who would it is said tulsi das rubbed sandalwood that applies to this time in fact ram is shiv baba it is not a question of rubbing sandalwood internally let your intellects remember the father and your inheritance forget the land of maya there is a lot of sorrow in that this is a graveyard remember sweet baba and the sweet land of happiness this world is to end abroad bombs etc will be dropped and all the buildings will fall everyone has to die all the rubbish has to be destroyed deities don't live in rubbish before people invoke lakshmi they clean everything before lakshmi and narayan come the whole world has to become clean and all the lands destroyed then the deities will come they will come and build their palaces bombay wasn't so large at that time it was just a small village look what it has now become and so it will become like it was and the other lands will not remain in the golden age there aren't any villages near salt water they exist by the sweet rivers then gradually expansion takes place madras etc didn't exist they are, they live by the rivers in vrindavan and gokul etc the palaces of paradise are shown there you know that you have come here to change from 
ordinary humans into narayan don't simply say humans into deities there is the whole kingdom of deities we have come to claim the kingdom this is called raj yoga this is not a yoga to become subjects we will make effort and claim the sun dynasty kingdom from the father ask the children every day have you made any mistakes today did you cause sorrow for anyone did you do any disservice don't become tired after doing just a little service you should ask what they have been doing throughout the day if you tell a lie you fall nothing can remain hidden from shibaba don't think that no one is watching shibaba would quickly know everything they would destroy themselves for nothing you should speak the truth for only then will you continue to dance in the golden age those who are truthful dance you should remain very cheerful and happy just look at a husband and wife one of them has the sovereignty of heaven in his or her fortune and perhaps the other one does not some have the fortune of both of them tying this bond of going and sitting on the pyre of knowledge together you children know the biography of mother jagadamba no one else will believe in the 84 births they have portrayed her with many arms so people think that she is a deity beyond birth and death however the image is that of a human being no one can have so many arms they have even portrayed vishnu with four arms to show the family path here human beings only have two arms people have then shown narayan with four arms and lakshmi with two arms in some places they have shown lakshmi with four arms they have shown narayan dark and lakshmi fair they don't know the reason for that at all you now know that when the deity souls who were beautiful sat on the pyre of lust in the copper age they became ugly the father now comes and changes them from ugly and makes them beautiful acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bap dada essence for dharana first point remember sweet baba and the sweet land of happiness remove this land of maya from your intellect second point never become tired of doing service in order to become part of the rosary of victory serve tirelessly remain honest and truthful to shri baba don't make any mistakes don't cause anyone sorrow blessing may you be an embodiment of blessings who experiences the incorporeal and the avyakt in the corporeal form through the lesson of one explanation simply make the lesson of one in brackets ek form and please the bestower of blessings then from amritvela until night time he will continue to be sustained while you move along and fly with blessings in every action you perform throughout your daily time table that lesson of one is one strength and one support in brackets ek bal ek bharosa one direction in brackets ek mat being constant and stable in brackets ek ras unity in brackets ekta and having love for solitude in brackets ekant priya the father loves this one word ek those who make this lesson of one form never experience any difficulty such blessed souls receive special blessings and this is why it is as though 
they experience the incorporeal and the avyakt in the corporeal form. Slogan Instead of forming your stage by staying away from others, become a support for everyone. Om Shanti